What do you think is uh, a hot issue of the last month? Let me throw one out there. And it's a little bit sensitive, but I know you're a sensitive man. What about Justin Trudeau announcing on Instagram that he and his wife, Sophie Gregoire Trudeau, were separating? What do you make of that news and how he announced it and what he's sort of done in social media since? Well, that's a, that's a good question. And of course, the media wants nobody to talk about it. But Trudeau himself has made this an issue and continues to make it an issue. So I think it's fair to talk about it. Um, when I practiced law and I was a managing partner of the auto office of a very big law firm, I had a team of uh, uh, lawyers that provided uh, service to the ma matrimonial law, uh, divorce lawyers and there was a good 10 of them in my office. And and there are two reasons why people get divorced fundamentally. One is financial, and that's a big reason. And second of all, one of the spouses, particularly the husband, doesn't connect with the wife. And that's the second reason. And there is a loss there. Well, when you take those reasons in the history that I've had in practicing matrimonial law, uh, or our, our office has, is... Well, clearly it's not the first. Uh, the Trudeaus are, are very well. Daddy left him millions, and I think he's found a way to make more millions. So it's not a financial issue. So it has to be with the parties not connecting. And I find that I don't understand how that could be because one friend told me that these are the two smartest, happiest, in love people that they know, and of course, they're separating. So how does that make sense? Hmm. Uh, you know, it, it just seems that, like, I mean, Trudeau himself goes out of his way to declare that he's a feminist. Uh, and, 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 and from what I understand, when a man says that, and he, he, he basically said it publicly, he said it at, at, at a conference, when a man says that, it means that he truly understands how a woman feels, acts, and conducts herself. So it's more alarming to see a feminist finding himself separated. Here's a speech that Trudeau recently gave, actually a little while back, where he talked about how feminist he was. Here, take a look. Well, first of all, I'm going to keep saying loud and clearly that I am a feminist uh, <laughs> until... Hear me roar. Until it is met with a shrug. Uh, why does every time I say I'm a feminist, uh, you know, the Twitterverse explodes and uh, news media pick, pick it up? It shouldn't be something uh, that creates a reaction. It simply is saying, I believe in the equality of men and women, and I believe that we still have an awful lot of work to do to get there. That's like saying the sky is blue and the grass is green. Uh, so uh, the fact that it's still you know, garners a, a, a response, a positive response, uh, means that uh, we're still going to have to be using that word. And if I can uh, encourage uh, people to use that word more and more often, to say that they're feminists, to say they're raising their children, uh, their daughters obviously to be feminists, but also their sons to be feminists, which is something my uh, extraordinary wife Sophie uh, has drilled into me, that it's not just about empowering my daughter, it's about uh, making sure uh, my son uh, work as well to empower, uh, you know, their sister, uh, however annoying she, they are uh, to each other uh, as kids. Uh, but that, that mindset of how we uh, shift uh, perceptions and engagement is, is something that, yes, we do still have to keep working on, and I'm uh, proud to be able to keep, uh, keep pushing that. Well, I have a slightly different take on it. I mean, he's trying to say, oh, I'm a feminist, it should be normal. But actually, I, I think that like saying, Manny, I'm really smart, or I have good fashion, or whatever. Like if you're praising yourself or trying to give yourself a positive appellation in some way, if you have to say it, it's probably not true. Like if you went around saying, hey, guys, you know, I'm really smart. No, 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 seriously, I'm really smart. People would know if you're smart. If you treat women right, it's sort of evident, I think. There's a phrase from the Hamlet my lady doth protest too much. If you're saying it too much, maybe it's because it's not true. I think that Justin Trudeau is a fake 
feminist. He's a male feminist in the meaning that he's not a feminist at all, except for as a trick. It's like Jian Gameshi, if you recall that CBC uh, star right. who, who got a degree in women's studies. And it was later found out he was a serial abuser, including physical abuse of women. And he said, no, 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 no. I'm a women's studies major. I'm a major feminist. It was what Professor Gad Sad called being a sneaky effort, but he would sort of sneak under women's radar because he said all the right things. Here's Gad Sad explaining the sneaky effort idea. Take a look. I talked about male social justice warriors as sneaky fuckers. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah. That's I an actual that, term, man. right? Yeah, yeah. Well, Sneaky fuckers is actually not a term that I came up with to be profane. It's actually a zoological term that yeah. captures uh, in nature the, the idea of kleptogamy, where you're trying to steal mating opportunities. So, for example, let's say you have a type of fish where there are two phenotypes of a male, you know, of a male. There's the dominant physically imposing male. And then there's a whole bunch of other males that actually pretend to be females so that they can sneak by the dominant males and then have a surreptitious coupling opportunity with the females. And that became known as the sneaky fucker mating strategy. And so in the, in the parasitic mind, I argue that male social justice warriors are instantiating a form of sneaky fucker strategy, right? Look, look, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very sensitive. I hug trees. I cry when I watch Bridget Jones' diary. See, I'm not. You, you don't have anything to be afraid of, and then hopefully that can allow me to have access to some willing and available females. I think anyone who goes around talking about how feminist he is, is preemptively trying to cover up the fact that he is absolutely not a feminist in atrocious ways. Well, that's why I put, I connected it. Um, Trudeau, as a feminist, uh, sexually assaulted a reporter. Rose and that Knight. is a, Rose yes, Knight and that's in a, Creston, BC. Yeah. Right. And that's a fact. And why I say it's a fact is that she published it. And if it was not true, she would be sued. The magazine would be sued. And there was no lawsuits and no denials and no retractions. So I have to conclude that he did sexually assault the reporter. He also, you might recall, in the House of Commons, storming across the, the, the aisle and elbowing an NDP female minister in her breast to get her out of the way. Men don't treat women like that when they want to get something done. They don't manhandle a woman. Yeah. And also, you know how he's treated the very strong female ministers, uh, the attorney general doing an absolute uh, great job, Jody Wilson-Raybould. And, and so, so now I add this fourth um, a dimension to prove what you say is true, that he is a fake feminist. And that is, I, I, I can't for the life of me see how a feminist who does connect and understand a woman, particularly the wife, particularly the mother of his three children, uh, has it fail. Uh, feminists don't fail in understanding women. Uh, so that's, so put it all together. I think you're right, Ezra. I think, uh, he is a fake feminist, but we know that. Um, and there's a lot of fake in a lot of things that Trudeau claims to be, uh, like a you know sitting there talking about racism when he's the, the only person I know in Canada who's worn blackface more times uh, than he can count. So so I think his claim of feminism and the separation that's just another fact that adds to that conclusion. Mm -hmm.